Welcome back, and this is the video on how to monetize your Unify Hotspot Portal. In the last video that I posted, I showed you how to sign up for a Stripe account and where to find those API keys. And then the video before that, I showed you how to set up a voucher-based system. In this setup, we are going to switch the voucher-based system over to a monetized payment system. Real quick, I want to give you some clarification on the API keys. So when you first launch, you're going to want to test this. You're not just going to want to try to you know roll it live in case there's an issue. <clears throat> so once you're in Stripe and you've pulled up your API keys, you would think where it says test publishable key and live publishable key, that those are the keys that you need for the Unify controller but they're not. You actually need the secret keys. So when you paste in for test or for live, which I always suggest doing the test first, you're gonna paste that test key in and that's what you're gonna use. So remember you need the secret key. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to paste in the test secret key and then once you're ready to go live, you'll just come in and you'll replace that test key with your live key. So go ahead and log into your controller. Go to settings and guest control. Okay, so we still have it enabled. And this should still be attributed to your SSID. So we're not going to have to go back and do that. Now you can switch SSIDs if you want, but you can refer to the other video for how to attribute that to an SSID. I'm not going to go back over that in this video. That's still set up as a hotspot. We're still redirection, redirecting to a promotional URL. We've still got this same look and feel, but now what we're going to do is... Oh, actually, I did tell you I was going to put a logo in, so I did up, upload my logo. And I think I changed the background color since you saw this last. So that, that's really all the customization I've done. I could put a background image in here. And I do have a, an, a client that I'm working with where we will basically replicate their website. It will look, their portal will look almost like this. It'll be pretty nifty. So we're going to come down here and we are going to enable payment-based authorization. And we're going to uncheck vouchers and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save this first <clears throat> and when you first turn this on there's going to be three packages and one of them is a free trial I've deleted that and I deleted the 599 package and I just have this basic eight hour package for a dollar so we'll look at this we'll edit this so the name basic eight hour you could make it free if you wanted we're not going to do that. Price is going to be in USD. It's $1. When it comes across the credit card, how do you want to see it charged? This is going to say hotspot 8-hour Wi-Fi. And this voucher is just going to last for 8 hours. It's got no limit on download, upload, or quota. You could create different packages using these options. You should experiment with it, play around with it. The next thing that I did was I set the default value for my country to the United States. And as I said before, I will use Stripe. We'll look at your options here real quick. If you're in the U.S., your options are PayPal Website Payment Pro, Stripe, Authorize.net, or IPPay. Of those options, I prefer Stripe out of, out of ease and uh, cost is relative at this point. If you are in Canada, you can use PayPal Website Payment Pro, Stripe, Authorize.net, or IPPay. If you're in the UK, you can use PayPal Website Payment Pro, or you can use specifically for UK. That's the only one listed. Europe can use QuickPay. And if you're in Australia and New Zealand, and by the way, hi to my friends in Australia and New Zealand. You know who you are. You can use Merchant Warrior. So we're going to use Stripe. And what we want to do is we want to collect some information by 
by default, these are all checked. You can see I've, I've been playing around and I did uncheck those, but I'm going to require the first name, the last name, uh, and let's do the zip code. Because when you when you're doing some some data mining, usually zip codes are tied to cities and states. So as long as you have an accurate zip code, I don't I don't feel that I need city and state. I'm not may not be particularly getting uh, down to actual address levels. I'm just kind of looking at kind of a general area here. You can see we've pasted in our test API secret key. And we're going to apply the changes. The guest control changes were saved successfully. So now what we are going to do is Stripe does provide a Stripe prov test credit card is 4242, 4242, 4242, 4242 with an expiration. Now anything in the future should work but they list it as 12 2017 and then the CVV number they have is 123 so now what we are going to attempt to do is the first thing actually we're going to do is we're going to log out and we are going to turn on the Wi-Fi turn off the Ethernet and we're going to try to connect and pay and and see what happens Ah, there it is. Do your chores first. It's open. We're going to go ahead and connect to this. She'll open this portal. Uh, have you done your chores? Yep. I'm going to give you a dollar. I'm going to pay by credit card. Now remember, this is in test mode. And after your test is successful, you'll want to switch that to live mode. You'll also want to make sure that you've linked your Stripe account to your bank account. Otherwise, you won't be able to get your funds. So we're going to put this information in here. 4242, 4242, 4242, 4242. I just like saying it. It's kind of fun. Uh, I did notice that I had to select 12 twice, whatever number in that box. And in all my experiments, it's been that way. So now we put in the, the credit card information. And I'm not going to force any other info here. Uh, I do suggest sometimes uh, credit card, uh, the, the banks, the issuing bank will decline the charges if uh, city, state, or zip aren't correct. So when you go live, you actually may want to grab this information. In fact, if I was, if I was actually going to roll this live, I would collect all that information just for purchasing uh, for the... Uh, excuse me, for the payment information so that the bank doesn't reject the charge. This is obviously a test transaction, so it's going to go through. So we're going to head and go ahead and click Connect. And we are now, we're now uh, connected to the Internet. By the way, I did hit 200 subscribers. I, I want to thank you again. It's amazing. Like I said, I never thought I'd have one subscriber. Uh, more or less 200 when we hit 500 subscribers there is going to be a giveaway so stay tuned for that so now that you know that this works what you can do is I'm going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi And we're going to log back in to the Unify controller. And we're going to go to our guest control and we're going to open up that hotspot manager. And look at this the Howe family 
has uh, a connection. So this is right under the guest. It's the basic eight-hour package. It was paid. Uh, it was a dollar. It was paid with a visa. This is how much data we've uploaded, downloaded, the start time, the end time. So you can see it's exactly eight hours. Now, if we go over to the payments, you can see that we collected uh, first name, last name, the package, the visa, the status is paid at this point. I would also make sure that your refund status works in test mode. Um, so I am going to refund this. Are you sure you want to refund the payment? Confirm. Now, here's one thing you do need to know. If you refund that payment, and we go back over here to guest, look at this. Even if I hit refresh, look at this. The voucher is still valid. So if you have some sort of an issue where you had to refund that and you don't want that person to have internet access, you're going to need to come in here and hit disconnect. And that will expire that paid paid authorization. So we go uh, back under the hotspot setup. I would just go ahead and make these required just, just to be safe. And then to go live, you're going to change your API key from that test key to the live key. And you're going to be in business. You're going to be taking payments. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And tune in for another video later on how to just use the simple password. Have a great day.